Just wanted to let you know that this video is super duper long if you didn't notice from YouTube. Um, I've put a link in the description to the, well, the timestamps are always there. Um, and I had to restart this battle many times, and even the route that I ended up keeping took me many attempts. This is a really hard battle the way I did this. Um, so just wanted to give you a heads up. Uh, you're going to see editor me, which is me right here. Again, when I, well, you'll see. Hello and good kitten, internet. Kitten. Um, I may end up having to make this video in two parts. It'll be one part to you. I'm just going to have to merge it after the fact because uh, it's somewhat late here, but I do need to start the chapter thing and there's no save in between. And with how save states have been a little funky with this, uh, Saturn emulator, I don't want to risk it. So let's, especially, I really don't want to go through that battle again. So let's just go ahead and continue. News of the fall of the supposedly impregnable prison spreads quickly throughout all of his time and is a tremendous shock to the Imperial government who believe themselves unassailable. Upon hearing this news, the resistance movement is revitalized. They begin staging large revolts throughout the land and succeed in liberating the southern region. Hey, look, there's been some liberation going on. In the meantime, Ash and his companion hold a meeting with Clive Beckett, who is acting as a pipeline to the Resistance. Relatively simple one this time. Drop the volume on your side again. Hope you've been doing well, Internet. That'll be the closest thing that I get. So welcome to chap chapter four, the successor. This is an interesting chapter, if my memory serves correctly. I want to say there's six chapters total in the game, or is it five? So it's true. Daddy really is... Neil and I, I'm... No, I'm all right, Ash. I was ready for it. Remember... Everyone's three years older than they used to be. So Elani is not quite like the young kid that we remember. Um, so Elani was 19, I think it was, at the start of um, Vandal Hearts. So Elani is now 22 and probably turning 23 shortly. Coincidentally, um, this age up makes some things significantly less uncomfortable age-wise. Like, for instance, Eamon is no longer 17 years old, but is 20. Also, Eamon was going to... They were going... They arrested a 20-year-old to execute. What the hell? I'm just going to walk over here now. I think I need some fresh air. She has not had a very good life so far. I'll leave her alone for a while. I was not live, so I spoiled everything. There are some things we need to face by ourselves. Alright, I understand. Remember, Ash has also had a really rough childhood. Just not, you know, that level of rough. Well, actually, that's somewhat comparable now that I think about it. Because her father was a traitor. Ash's father was a traitor. Or at least publicly on that front. Um, lost father. Although that adopted father. Don't actually know her own parents. Uh, Ash's mother's never mentioned. Now that I think about it. Anyway. Clive, how goes the resistance movement? Very well, thanks to you people. We've managed to liberate one third of the Ashtarian territory from Imperial rule. Fantastic! Sorry, that's fantastic. 
But things are only going to get much harder. The North has many strongholds, which will now be heavily guarded. Also, the Empire is courting the support of the neighboring country of Urdu in exchange for granting them the southern region. If that happens, we will be forced to fight on two fronts, and the rebel army is as good as done for. Oh, well, we mustn't let that happen, then. Oh, well, there's another issue which also must be dealt with, because, you know, we don't have enough things wrong. Like how majestic Bukidi is. The Empire is searching for the Royal Ring. We can't let ourselves fall for every gossip and rumor about the revival of the Flames of Judgment, but if there's even the slight chance that the legends of Turot's Ark are true, then we can't throw them away. Hence, your next task will be to find that ring as quickly as possible. There's an informant waiting for you in the merchant town of Karachi. Go see him first. Karachi, oh, of all the places. Uh, what's wrong, Diego? Oh, 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 it's nothing. But, if I remember correctly, we don't have a battle to start with immediately. Oh yeah, we do, that's right. Commander! Oh, uh, Ash. Leaving already? Yes. I'm off to set up a partnership with a rebel group in the east. Perhaps... I got gone and made you rebel of you too, sir. Oh, what are you talking about, Ash? may not make any sense to you, but I feel like somehow my traitor's blood is moving us all in the path toward treason. Just a feeling I can't seem to shake. Ash, Ash, listen. There's something very important that I need to tell you. Ah, so there you are. gonna leave without a word I didn't want to disturb you all be careful of her commander thank you Clint. sorry thank you Clint. Five. ash believe in yourself believe in your friends at the very least you're no traitor yes sir Okay, we do actually have town stuff first. Okay. Oh boy, do we have a lot of things we need to do. Like, the very first thing we need to do before anything else happens is to save. It has been a long time since we were able to save. And yes, there is no scene zero for this chapter. It starts at scene one, because there is no battle immediately at the start of chapter there will be one shortly, of course, but... Hmm, hiccups. So, the first thing we need to do before anything else is to go to the stupid dojo and promote a certain... Darius. Before we forget, because that is going to be ridiculous otherwise. Alright. We have our second talk. There he is in his very goofy looking bra and is naked underneath. Yeah, I don't get it either. All right. So we've got that done. Next thing we need to do is buy a lot of stuff. We are very depleted right now. Also, what the heck is that outfit? Because this is also the point where we can finally start. Oh, right. Before we do that. What the? You see that?
That says plus 10. That says plus 10. But somehow it has an extra plus 8 attack. Anyway, we have some items in our inventory that we need to pass around before we do anything else. So yeah, Steel Arrow, we only have one archer at the moment, so... A wizard Wand. Heal and I is... Okay, it's just standard attack plus four. Um... Let's give a deal and I. What about armor? We have the dark robe. Yeah, let's also give that to you. Actually, no. Let's give the dark robe to Huxley, because it's probably a good idea to have your healer with the best defense. Regular items. still have stuff in people's inventories too okay human skull helm um let's go ahead and give that to ash dolan's got nothing Rug's got nothing. Hook's got nothing. Hill and I has a Wonder Staff. It's actually better than our Wizard Wand, so I'm going to give her the Wonder Staff instead. And give the Wizard Wand to. Actually, Hooks. Diego has nothing. Clint has nothing. Ash has nothing. Okay, now we can go to the shop. We are not exiting yet. You're in Kano City. All right. Now let's start buying things. First off, we definitely need some weapon upgrades. Dark. Exact same plus... That really is plus 10 and plus 10. I'm not... One must supposed to be an 8 or something. Okay. Arrow, which we already have everywhere, so that's not going to happen. Wizard Wand, we only need to buy one of, and needs a strong word, but we have tons of money. Battle Axe, that is... Dolan Duck, plus 10, jeez. Sonic Lance, that is both Aemon, only plus 4, wow. And Darius. Steel Claws, an extra plus eight it's supposed to be, yes. Okay, and that's it for weapons. Now we have armor upgrades, steel masks. So that is worse than the Skull Helm, so there's no reason for us to equip it on Ash. I think that's everyone, yeah. Steel Circle. So much shopping. This is the shopping episode. Maybe I'll even remember naming it that. Doubt it. Think that's everybody? Yeah. Scale armor. So much shopping. At least you have the ability to sell on the same screen, otherwise this would take forever. Also, notice that I still have a decent amount of money. Ah, uh, you actually have scale armor. Cool. Or a robe. Yeah, see? That's a plus 10, that's a plus 18. Why is the other one mislabeled? Okay, so that is worse than the dark robe, as I expected. 
All right, we've got everybody equipped for that. Let's go ahead and make sure we have magic stones on our mages. Oh, I need to sell some things in people's inventories. Like that iron staff. Um, honestly, we don't need that. Or that. Okay. Magic stone in each mage's inventory. Notice how we still have tons of money. You know what? I'm actually going to give Clint a mage stone too, just in case. And Darius, you're getting an aura gem, just in case, because you can use a lot of XP right now. This is not going to be an easy battle coming up. In fact, it is well known to be one of the most difficult battles in the game, and Bukiti decided to leave entirely. Okay, let's talk in the tavern. So we haven't been to a tavern in a while. Eh, I don't give a fart about these old army boys. But the leaders of the Crimson Guard are really scary. Archaeologists have made a great have made great finds recently. After the ban on pre-royal time bans. The ban on pre-royal time bans ow my head was lifted. For instance, they proved that an ancient advanced civilization had existed before the royal family was even born. Which reminds me, they even found some sort of a transport system called Railway or something. They say it was running cargo between the capital and great cities. That does not look like an old man. Just saying. The civilization they just discovered. That must be the Birani Empire described in the Holy Tome. And what happened to the Flames of Judgment that destroyed it? Ow. I'm gonna make another save. Or, yeah, I'll make it on the other memory card. There we go. Okay. So, let's go ahead and leave town. Uh, Ash, it was around town. Why do I keep changing voices for Darius? I just recorded the previous video. What? So I'm probably just going to start the battle and then stop the recording for me and pick it back up another day just because I should probably go to sleep and I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow morning. Ash, so you're alive. Okay. <laughs> Mm hmm These are the fools that destroyed the prison. Oh, yep. They look like beauty weaklings. <laughs> They're no match for the Crimson Leaders. That's right. We are fighting all four Crimson Generals at the same time. <laughs> Don't forget they killed Lando. You bastard. <laughs> Lando is always the weakest of us. But don't worry, his pain is so concerned. Make sure he doesn't leave here. The Crimson Leaders are all here? This is... Sorry. This is bad. Right now, a lot of us are not even a match for one of them. Don't worry about that. Let's just get out of here alive. Everybody, avoid battle and concentrate on fleeing town. So this is a really interesting battle, because the victory objective is not in fact defeating enemies, it is just arriving at the village exit. Now I'm going to point out things around the map. So first off, the village exit's right here. You need to get everybody into this little area, and like this area also counts. But you notice that that's next to a lot of Crimson Guard. In fact. This button. 
There are a lot of Crimson Guard on this map, but not as many as you would think. So there's only three on each of the corners, and there's five on the sides and two in the middle. And you'll also notice that there's a drawbridge here, that there's a button... Where was the button? Buttons over in Cane Area, I thought. Where's the button? Oh, there's the button. So you press the button, you can drop the drawbridge, and go through the middle. The way you're the game wants you to do this is to basically just run. You can use this block here in order to lure people around, and that's generally a good idea. Um, you only really have to go on one of these two sides. And even then, you can kind of just run in the middle and hope the best type of thing. Let's change the zoom to distant. So we're dealing with level 19, level 21 enemy. Keep in mind, our highest level character is level 19 right now. So they really are much stronger than we are. Having said that, it's entirely possible to completely clear this battle. That's what I'm going to try to do next time. I don't know if I'll succeed, because the only times I've ever cleared out the battle itself have been when I've um, been very overleveled. I'm definitely not overleveled. I'm really worried about the Crimson Falcons. The guard themselves, I mean, yeah, they're strong, but they're the same level as me. I can take that. The armors might be really annoying, except that they're armor class, and we already know that I have two of the most powerful mages on the planet sitting on my party. I could take them out, but I'm going to waste a lot of magic doing that. The only archer on the battlefield is Sabina. I think I called her Sabrina in the comments of a previous video, but Sabina is the only archer on the battlefield, so we don't have to worry about range. Although, and she's also not very strong as an archer. She has hyper healing, though. So she is, in fact, a healer. Kane, because this is our first time fighting him, is an assassin class. Um, he has healing circle, like a monk. Although he can't cast it that often, at least. He also has really good defense for being a sword class. Like, give me an idea. His defense is 10 higher He's also three levels higher, so I guess that's probably why. Um, the Crimson Falcons, I'm a little concerned because we only have one archer. Um, Fritz the Warmaster is very weak, but has high agility, so it's going to be a little difficult for us to hit him. Also, he has an offensive spell called Thousand Daggers, which hurts. Um, he has Monk class, so our best bet would be Flyers, which we have two. And then there's Dallas High Armor. Dallas is an idiot, um, has gobs of defense. We do not want to melee Dallas if we can help it. But he also has a healing spell. So, in other words, what we need to do is take out those three as fast as we can if we're going to fight. I don't know for sure if we're going to or not, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a battle save here, and then I'm going to stop recording so I can go sleep. Sleep's kind of important again, doctor's appointment tomorrow morning. And then I will pick this back up probably tomorrow. So, while you're going to be able to just see it next time, I'll talk to you tomorrow, Internet. Bye! Hi, Editor Me again. Um, just letting you know, this is the part where the battle starts, so if you wanted to skip ahead, go right ahead. I don't expect anybody to watch this much of a battle, especially when I'm redoing it over and over and over and over and over again. So, um, again, take a look in the description. Uh, you'll see a timestamp for this one, the reels, or um, this one for reels. There we go. That's what I'll call it. Um, that's the one I recommend starting at if you just want to watch the battle. If you want to see all of my trials and tribulations, feel free. Okay, bye. I'm back. Um, I'm actually having an internet outage at the moment, which was interesting to just see how many services I have that depend on internet access. So now's a good time to start playing. Let's go ahead and start playing. Okay. So I know yesterday, and yes, this is a different day as I explained before. Um, yesterday I had mentioned that I 
think I'm going to go after these goobers first, and I think I'm still going to do that. So, in order to be able to do this the best... Yeah, Clint is 16, right? I'm going to have Ash handle the push. I think. That's right. What I wanted to try first is... Let's throw Eel and I here. See how much damage I'm doing with Roman Fires. I might be able to pull this off with just like two Roman Fires or something. Let's find out. Okay, I can definitely kill them with two Roman Fires. Him, not so much. Okay. That's a problem. I'd rather not waste a huge amount of magic on doing a um, phase shift. Only 10 XP. Okay. You're moving there. I'm going to need somebody to stand here to make sure that I don't have my squishies die in one hit. Rog is probably going to be the best of them, and he's not that great. So let's go ahead and give a def up while we're at it. I'm trying to conserve magic. I think that's going to be the best way of handling this. But those goobers, magic was the way to go. You just no, I'm not gonna take those hits. Okay, so Dallas can no longer get at Squishies. I think he's gonna attack Dolan from the side, but he might attack Grog from the front. I'm not sure. All right, now these goobers—they can't reach me in one turn. to stand here. Honestly, I think everybody else should probably stay put. Ash might want to move closer to here. Because he's a third caster, offensive caster. Uh, technically, so is Hawks, but... Yeah, let's see how this turns out. Alice is... Oh, healing himself, right? Forgot about that. Ah. It's gonna be so obnoxious. Yep, the three of you move into place. That's fine. So the problem is going to be timing. The hawks are going to be the biggest problem. The falcons, excuse me. Crimson Falcon. So many hits in this battle. Sabina. More swordsmen move up, and then Kane. Wait, why didn't you attack? You have a thousand daggers. You should have been able to attack. It'll come out that way. Oops. All right, we need to pay attention to these groupers. You can reach Diego. No, you can't because of fate. Okay. You can reach nobody at the moment. random crying for no reason, as usual. We're going to try to taunt out Dallas. 
It's not a great plan. Although it did work last time. Because Dallas... Yeah, Dallas can't reach anywhere else. That hawk is going to be a problem next turn, but not this turn. Man, I wish I had two archers right now. Um, one's already moved. Sarah can move over to here. Ash can move here. Where exactly are you hitting? Okay. So in front of Sarah is safe. And where is safe against you? Okay. Like I said, I'm trying this. It's been a long time since I've actually tried to fight this fight. With, like, reasonable characters. Okay, I think I can take out Dallas this turn. We're going to start moving back. Diego can't do much at the moment. He's going to be useful against the Hawk, or the Falcon. I keep doing that. Problem is the other one. Also, there's enough Crimson Guard nearby where I'm a little concerned. Let's go ahead and fast forward a little bit. I didn't think they were supposed to get this close this fast. I thought they were supposed to stay behind for a bit. I guess me attacking Dallas might have been the trigger? Okay. We've got a problem. Crimson Guard, you're going to be able to get up there. Okay. Let's go ahead and make a battle save here. I intentionally didn't make a save last turn, by the way. How much damage do I do? Not enough. Not even close to enough. Crap. This is a problem. Poison Cloud's not a useful spell in this case. Phase shift might not be the worst of ideas if I can reach them. I don't think I can, though. That's our Eli and I. Let's get you as close as we can. And hit one. Ugh. Damn it. That's not going to do any better for anybody else, either. I don't think this strategy is going to work out. Let's get back to the start of the battle. Still have no internet. Um, not good. So here's the problem. Oh no, I can only get hit by one. That's bad. But not the worst. Okay, maybe this actually is the best option after all. But still, I'm digging. I only deal 62. Only lightning costs 7 MP. Let's try it. Besides, we haven't seen Holy Lightning yet. So many spell effects! Okay, that did 48. That's not too bad, I guess. Roman fire. And at that point, Dallas should be able to be killed by pretty much anyone. 
which is why I'm having Ash do it. Think that's enough to kill Dallas. Really hope so. Die? Dead. I got after mom. Alright. What was his voice? I got I'm gonna have to my moose. I don't think that was it, but whatever. I only gained 9 XP for that. The game's been incredibly generous with XP up until this point where it decides to just be mean. You can attack Elanai as it stands right now. I assume. Can't let you attack Elanai. Elanai is the squish. I move out of the way, where can you hit? Okay, yeah. The hawks are going to be the ones that deal with these folk. I'll be around the bend next turn. So, I am safe here. I ain't seen. See what happens. You all hop around, that's fine. Yeah, that crimson guard there is the one I'm concerned about. Ooh, nice block. Good job, Diego. Ooh, you can't use your plaid. Unfortunately, you're dead from the crimson guard as it stands right now. This one's gonna be the one that hurts. doesn't work. I got one-shotted. I mean, that's the way it should happen. Clint is weak again. Clint being a swords person is weak again. Flyer. But ow. Just ow. That's gonna be hard to block. And Kane's too close by. Let's restart. Just entirely restart. I still think moving up is a good idea. So, out of curiosity, what's their attack power? It was the other one. They might be different level. They're not, but 93 attack. Lint's defense is 98. How did he get one-shotted? How does this game handle math? I honestly don't know. It would be better for me to go through here instead. Do I have two hawks? So I'm in a better position to go through there than going through here, although I have two mages, so take your pick. I need to commit to one side or the other. I think that's the key. I think this is what I need to do. Slightly closer. Really? You know, nice further away, okay. Fun to check. Oh, 
Cool off some fire that may in fact be Roman in nature. I think this is still the best plan because I can take out two of them easily. Dallas is going to heal himself, which sucks, but I can deal with that. Dallas is the easiest one of these goobers to deal with. And I want to do my best in trying to kill them. Because you're not supposed to. And I love doing the thing that you're not supposed to do. Wait a second. And now they're too far away. If I had the next spell up from phase shift, that would be a different story. I don't even know if Elon is getting that. One of the two of them have to, I would assume. I should have had so hard take the XP. It's Elon is one level higher. Right? Or are they both 19? No, they're both 19, never mind. Over here. Oh, I can't reach. Nope, didn't think so. Move Diego back. Move Ash back. Sarah there. there. I don't really want you to be my vanguard, but you're going to be. All right. Oh, those three dots back there are an item for reference. So unfair that he gets such a good healing spell. Oh, you are going around that way. You're splitting the party? Well, that's not actually useful. If I would have known, I wouldn't have bothered with the aim and split. That might have been a mistake. I probably should have just moved Eamon up and just ignored that entirely. Save here. Not too far you can Okay, I do need to move everybody else out first. Making sure. Okay. Yeah, that's the problem. I did not want to deal with that, but I must have put Darius too close. just kill you instead. It's probably a bad idea. Also, that attack is so goofy. Well, he didn't hit. Darius leveled up. He desperately needs levels. He is so far behind on levels right now. It's not enough damage. Sarah, you still don't have anything useful ranged now. Where's Kurt's able to go to? That's my closest spot that's safe. That's not close enough. I can't even hit him with phase shift. I 
And that's not safe against Dallas. Nope. Right, I'm gonna have to put Eel and I someplace unsafe. Like I said, I'm still trying this. I've got theories as to how this might work, but I don't know if this is going to. I forgot to say phase shift, I'm sorry. shift and my phone's ringing one moment and back sorry about that um i gained eight xp and killed one Pretty sure Grok's just dead. Even if I do this. Um, that was my ISP calling, delaying it even further. I'm not getting internet access back tonight. because I'm distressed. I turn on kitty cam, but he's in my arms and lap. And, you know, having a camera staring directly at my lap is not exactly the greatest of things. Oh, kitty, please don't knock over the microphone. I am recording. Okay. How do I make this cluster less of a cluster? Definitely put Sarah here. She's gonna be faring better than Eel and I on a melee attack, at least. So the reason why I'm still having Eamon push the block is so when I do end up hiding back here, I only have to deal with the Hawks. And everybody else is going to have to filter through this long meandering way around. That's the idea I have at least. I don't think Dallas, I think Dallas is able to one shot me is the problem. Or he just heals himself again. Didn't expect that one. Cool. Not what I wanted. Hurts? Yeah, Dagger Storm. Or a thousand daggers. I think it was called Dagger Storm in the other one. I think I might have to do the runaway strategy. That was 126 points of damage. I can't take that. That was a spell dealing more than Darius's maximum hit points, which may I note, Darius is one of the higher hit point members in my party and was not weak against that attack. 126, really? Am I just getting one-shotted by everything? I'm gonna try something. One moment.
Okay. So. Let's do an experiment, shall we? I deal 36. They deal 60. So, my attack's 92 and defense is 101. Their attack is 93, defense is 73. I should be doing a lot more. And they should be doing next to nothing. The game's cheating. I do 53. He does 83. <coughs> Also, next thing I'm really curious about. Can I actually spellbind Kurtz? I don't think I can. I don't even think I can spellbind Dallas, even though he should be weak against armor. Or weak against magic. Yeah. How do I do this? So for reference, the item here is a Golden Axe, which is one reference to the Sega game, and two, just worth money. It is a plus zero weapon. It is completely useless. So don't need to worry about getting items in this battle. And I think the like random things are not useful. I don't know. Um, Darius can definitely get there and back. Let's try the runaway strategy, shall we? So for those of you just tuning in now and haven't watched the interim video, this is the next day. I haven't had internet access for a bit. I just got it back. And I'm trying weird crap. It's the best way to describe what I'm doing. It's weird crap. So I just tried my strategy of trying to go through and kill everything. That went very poorly. So, turns out that the game is cheating right now. You know how uh, in the previous two battles we had those juggernauts that, as long as I was hitting them from behind, anyone could one-shot them? But it didn't make any sense when you compared the stats? That's what's happening to me. Um, so, Kurt's here, who has an offensive spell, 1,000 daggers, one-shotted, Darius. He was one level higher at the time. He had 126 hit points. Which is more than almost every member of my party. He would one-shot every member of my party other than probably Ash, Elanai, Huxley, and um, so and Sarah. Actually, he might still one-shot Sarah completely absurd and I don't understand it um, I also had another situation where uh, Clint got one-shotted by a hawk um, so I did some magical experimentation I took Eamon here and attacked this hawk here now 
the hawk is two levels higher, I don't expect to do a totally awesome damage. But when you look at the stats, this hawk has 93 attack and 73 defense. Eamon has 92 attack and 101 defense. He should actually be taking less damage than the hawk. He took double the damage of, that the hawk did on the counterattack. Nothing's adding up right. So I am just attempting to escape with my life. I'm not going to try to kill anything. thing is those three are slow those three are not I'm going to have to deal with the Falcons no matter what I do I keep calling them Hawks because they're Hawk Knights but they're actually Crimson Falcon technically because Eamon has better defense. Here's the problem. That is the problem. I can't keep... Uh, actually, I think that might be in range two, isn't it? That's not going to work. Restart. Again. I'm still having ISP issues, aren't I? Trying to think. Sorry, I'm not talking much because I've been doing this for a while.
Sabina's the problem in my mind. That and Kane. I'm not going to be able to take attacks from them. Okay. So, first thought... Did I throw around some fire? Ah, I'm going to need to move one closer to dry. I could also throw around a phase shift now that I'm thinking about it. Is this close enough to hit both with a phase shift? No. And I'm not going to be able to hit both with a phase shift. Uh, so I'm going to cast phase shift anyway, though. So, phase shift. now. Of course not, that would be too easy. But, I can reach here. And see, I'm only doing 56 damage, even though they should be weak against me. Something really is going on. So I, this might be another restart, because I'm thinking that my best bet is to actually take on these goobers and take them out. If I can do it in one round, I can actually take out stupid Dallas. The problem is, I can't do it in one round unless if I was prepared, and I am not. I don't think I am, at least. Let's find out. This is going to be a dumb plan. A really, really dumb plan. Phase shift. He's at 65. I don't think... You know, I can't even reach. This is a really dumb plan. I dealt 30. I block. Blocking's nice. The reason why I was choosing him is that he could actually reach. Nobody else can reach, can they? Can you reach with Holy Explosion? Holy Lightning? No. You're too off. Okay. I think taking out Dallas makes sense, because I can. I only needed one more good magic hit, and that was it. Start back over again. I have no idea how many attempts I'm on right now, but I'm back. Hi. Okay. That's the case. Then uh, what I want to do is store these goobers in the pond.
actually going to move up here because he's actually useful against hawks. And Brog is going to move up to there. So many bad ideas. They're all going to move up. They're going to move forward that way, and that's fine. I want them to waste their time. This part stays the same, because that's an obvious move. You can attack Diego. You can attack Dolan. If I move Dolan here, you can only attack Dolan. It's good to know. Before I do anything else, I'm going to remember to actually do a save. Piercing rank gonna be enough? Find out. No, it's not enough. Actually, it probably is because I'm going to also have Ash get in on the fun. Trying to do this as efficient as possible. That's why I saved. That will definitely kill the two tanks. Alice is down to 40. Six or forty-nine, I don't remember now. Ash will get more XP. Forty-six. actually hurt for. Really? Really? That's why I saved. They should not be able to do 120 damage. What the heck game? Okay. We're gonna do the same thing though. Welcome to Whose Character Is It Anyway? The only show where the everything's made up and the stats don't matter. I realize I don't have my self view. There we go. Fire. I mean, there's no reason to fast forward when it's already barely maintaining any type of frame rate. Okay. Which means... That should be enough to kill Dallas, I think. If not, then I need to reload again and use better spells. 
Oh, no, I don't need to use better spells. But there we go. Oh, I'm gonna have the vamoose. Okay, dealt with Dallas. Whoosh. GTFO. Those goobers are gonna be delayed for a while. These two are still here. I actually can. That's acceptable. Oh, wait. You can definitely reach. Is that a problem? It might be. I'm going to try it anyway. Oh no, it is a problem. It just dawned on me that he's in tree range. Because she's just around the corner and can easily just go up to here and attack. So no, I can't have any hawks there. Load again. I'm trying to do this as fast as possible, sorry. No. Once more with feeling. Really just need to move Grog out of the way and I'll be fine. Oh, so are you two hitting anybody? You're a decent distance. It's okay, Darius, we'll level you up soon enough. Soon. will either go after Dolan or Diego. I have a hunch they're all going after Dolan. So I knew that guardsman was going after Dolan. Really? Not restarting. I think I still have the right idea. I just need to rethink how I'm doing this.
Owen, you are now moving there. Flyers are moving over to here. Could attack Dolan. It's the only valid target, and the AI script will go after a person whenever possible, so I think I'm okay there. You already know the Hawk can't kill Dolan. Basically using Dolan as my only tank. Because he is the only person who can survive anything right now. That hawk should be able to be killed by pretty much anyone at this point. Closest can Sabina get? Or how close is Sabina getting? Um, that way. Okay. Not what I was expecting. This is no longer a safe place, that's why. Fine, I actually didn't want him to stay there anyway. I want him to go after the other one. Okay. I should save. This is a safe spot from the arrows. Darius, please finish off that hawk. Thank you. Go get your level, finally. Can I spell find you? That'd be really handy right about now. just helped me out quite a bit. There's no archers over here. That means that I can just have Dolan pull a Hodor. Where do I want him to pull a Hodor at? I think right here. Should I was pulling it on this side, though. How bad are you? Okay, so Kane can get up to the surface this turn. And Kane just has self healing, right? A healing circle. Okay. Which still sucks. And Warmaster is still not going to be reaching anyone that I care about anytime soon. Okay. So I'll have a couple of turns there. How to do this? Oh, this area can be dangerous. That is actually a good reason to throw in there. Oops. Regular healing should be fine. It should heal most of the way, at least. Closer are you getting this turn? You can go up to there. So like, wait. Can you reach? You can get to here. Grog can take it, but I'm going to try. I can't be counterattacked anymore, so this is safe. Oh, 
Where does Prison Pod reach? Can't quite hit anybody from there. I'd have to go into Danger Zone, and there's no way Zohar would survive that. I think that's going to be about the best I can do. I'm going to make sure Sarah's over here, just in case. Problem is, I'm going to be hitting them at the same time, and I can't defend three different directions at once very well. How much damage are you going to do? Half my hit points. You know what? I can deal with that. You're going to do far less than half of my hit points. Still more than you should, but far less. And you're going to get next to the face. I can deal with that. I think we're going to have some phase shifts going on. Oh, you're not moving because you're stuck. Sabine is now moving around. All of them are now stuck. How much can I keep up healing? Not that much. I'm going to have to deal with them soon enough. Yeah, they can reach surface this turn. How far can you hit with the phase shift? Not enough. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. I needed them to move up further. <sighs> I mean, if I'm going to phase shift, I'm going to stand here to do it. Because that hits three, or four. Yeah. Let's do the best that we can. I can't even hit Kane with this phase shift, can I? Nope. Oop. Poop, 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 poop. It's healing circle to get Grog back up. I don't know if that will fully hit Grog. If not, I have a problem coming up. Okay, good, it does. Sabina can't reach. I'm only going to get hit by one or two. One. Or two. So my plan is to take both of these goobers out on the same turn. That way, two more come in and they'll be damaged from phase shifts, so it will be easier to kill them. That's the plan. This is a bad plan, by the way, because I'm doing nothing against these three goobers, and they're spread out enough where I can't phase shift them all at once. Okay, Eamon needs to not be here. Out of curiosity, can you even hit from the water? No. Didn't think so, but thought I would ask. If they were standing here, I could. To stand there and be really dumb. Um, I'm gonna move back over to here, I think. Wait, no. Oh, I haven't had Diego go yet. Diego can pop off an arrow into one of them. Maybe that one? Yeah. Damage that one even further. Not enough. Let's 
actually it is enough. I bless his weapon. There we go. That makes more sense. That should be enough to take out two in one turn, then everybody gets closer, and I phase shift more enemies. Which means you are going to go... Actually, I'm just going to have you hide behind the pillar. Same with you, Darius. Hide behind the pillar. Uh, actually, I should have moved Darius over to here. It's actually safer for them over there. Then Eel and I... Phase shift... I'm only hitting two from there? What? Crap, I needed to stand there, didn't I? Yeah, I did. One moment, I'm gonna do all of that again, and I'm gonna do it off camera because I'm not changing anything other than movement. Alright, back to the start of that turn. I realized after the fact that I had not saved, and that sucked. Um, okay, we needed you here, I think. That hits you three and that, but not that one. I need to move two back. So here... Phase shift. Hmm. So far, I'm actually handling this. is just really rough. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to handle it once Warmaster steps in the way. Okay. Got that out of the way. Which means I think Eel and I has to stand here. It hit them. I need to hit him? No. Oh, um, the only difference is Grog didn't get hit this turn. So, that's a positive, don't get me wrong, but just wanted to mention that there was a very slight change. slightly closer together. How much MP do I have left? 32. Yeah, let's go ahead and phase shift from here. A little bummed that it's not going to hit that one, but that's fine. Phase shift. I did at least save it sort of this turn. Okay. You're actually not dead. I didn't expect that. Okay. Rather not get counterattacked too many times, so let's go ahead and take that out. Dragon Ball has used more XP. the other side. That's right. I remember now. Because if I can drop this one down to 60 hit points, which I couldn't, then Dolan would be able to one-shot him. Uh, as it is, I am going to end up blessing Dolan's weapon so Dolan can one-shot him and hopefully move all of those characters up. That's the intent, at least. I want to have to deal with this much garbage on that side. 
Nolan. Smite. Thank you. I would actually have Sarah healed Nolan. Yeah. Just a regular heal. Nothing super special. And yes, I still have all of my healing items. I'm aware. Okay. I made a terrible mistake, didn't I? Okay. I'm saving an internal as well, because I don't want to have to go through all of that again. And I think this is actually a good idea. So this is the only spot that they can go up, and if I remember correctly, the Crimson Swordmen go before the War Master. The War Master could easily smite everybody in there, but the Crimson Swordmen can't. Hawks are remaining. Hawks, I actually want you closer to this side now. Because that the Hawks are gonna be my best bet at taking out Kane. Yep, that's what I was expecting to have happen, although not against Clint. I wasn't expecting that. Holy crap. I mean, I know Clint is lower level than the rest, but... I wasn't expecting that much damage. Okay. Might be a problem. Thank you for all moving closer. How much damage do you do now? 68. Okay, so I'm doing an extra 8 points of damage. Well, that's an extra 25% damage. That's not too bad. Oh, you didn't move any closer, really? Okay. Drugs gonna take lots. Less than last time. Okay. It's fine. Are the two of you going to move back, or are you staying there? You're staying there. Okay. Okay. Saving so mode for the internal ram slot, which is what I was intending to do. You all are in a very convenient area of effect that I am going to take advantage of. Oh yeah, let's see what Poison Cloud does. I'm pretty sure it's just AoE poison and thus useless. Well, let's find out. I did just save after all. Yeah. be fair, if I was going to poison two of them, it'd be the two of them. But I'd rather just do the damage. Oh, I need to see where Sabina can go this turn, because Sabina is the wild card that I need to worry about. Sabina is the ranged. Sabina can go to here. Crap. Okay. So these two spots are no longer safe. Not great. I mean, I could probably throw Diego here. I think I can, so I'm going to try. Uh, we'll hit you. shift kind of makes sense at this point, doesn't it? Oh, wait. Can I phase shift from here and hit everybody? I can. Well. What about Eel and I? Can Eel and I actually hit over here if I needed to? Yes, okay. In that case, we're phase shifting again. I hit enough targets, it makes sense to do. Face shift. Oh, I am definitely having to get this down. <clears throat> uh. You're dead. 
You're not. You're not. You're not. You and I, you're going to go here. I can't hit the others anyway with phase shift, so... Actually, if I go here, can I hit everybody with phase shift? No. I'm just going to Roman fire then. I won't do as much damage, but it also costs half the MP, so. You're dead. You're nearly dead. You're getting close. I can risk it by taking both of these goobers out. Maybe worth trying? I'm going to do that. I should probably heal up Dolan, though. Although, Grog needs healing, too. Alright, let's experiment. Pressure Dram. How much damage do I take from Kane? I deal 41. He deals 90. Okay, I can't tank Kane. Got it. Ninety-one, eighty. So in theory, Grog should be fine. Staying there. Especially since... Oh, I can't check it. I need to load anyway. Backup Ram, Cartridge Ram. In battle save. This is definitely the best run I've had of this so far, but this is ridiculous. Ugh. Can you even reach Grog? Yes, you can. Okay. So I'm going to have the Crimson Guard go after Grog instead, which is what I would prefer. Actually, Grog? Just herb yourself. I don't want to dedicate a healer to you right now. I'm going to be dedicating a healer over here. We're dead. And you're dead. I'm doing way better. I just need to watch out for Sabina and Kurtz. Kurtz is going to be a problem. I don't want to take the risk of Dolan getting taken out from Sabina and Sabina. damage? Or do I just ice him? I only have got enough MP for one more rolling fire, so that's not great. Uh, Fairy Star I can do twice, unless if I do anything else. Fairy Light's basically useless for myself at this point, other than gaining XP, so I'm not going to worry too much about that. Ice Storm isn't going to do enough damage, though, is it? I don't know if my attack does enough damage. The problem is, is that I can't let him attack Clint twice. As in, that one attacking Clint and that one attacking Clint. I think I do enough damage. Nope. Damn it. Plus side Ash. We can't take that, actually. 
I'm pretty sure that's going to end up being a reload. Just the two of you, you're going to stay there. Yeah. Yep. So Ash needs to block that next Crimson Guard. Otherwise, Ash is dead, and it's a reload time. And plus, it happens really fast. Ooh, we did it. it. We're okay. Everything's fine here. Oh, 48 damage. I should be doing more. Damn it. Okay, so I am out there. Yep, that's what I expected to have happen. Only 36. Okay, I actually didn't need to heal. Yep. Okay, we're down to bosses, basically. You're dead. Well, no, you're not dead, but yeah. And Kane's looping around now. Interesting. Okay, okay. Cartridge. Okay. How am I going to do this? I need to worry the hell about Kurtz. Kurtz can take out my characters. So these two are going to have to retreat this turn. Yeah, they're going to have to retreat this turn. Which means I actually need to spellbind someone there. Actually, that would be great. If I can spellbind them, that would be perfect. Please be spellbound. That would be really nice right about now. I just need you to hold for one round. Okay. That's good. Let's soften you up a little. That's right. Since Cain moved over here, you can't get at me anymore. I slipped somebody behind. Like, Darius or Emma. By the way, what are your stat differences? 92, 101, 63, 126. Okay, so effectively the same. It's one has one more defense, the other one has two more hit points. So they're effectively identical. Okay. Should do a lot of damage. That's fine. Rog, I actually want you to take a step back now. You don't you've done good. only dealing with one boss right now. And what I really want is to throw a monk in the face of the boss. The reason why I want to throw the monk in the face, because, yeah, I know the boss can heal herself, and she's going to. But the reason why I want to throw the monk in the face is that she should be weak against fist and sword. Pew pew. 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 Nice. Ah, oh, long battle is very long, isn't it? You're dead. Ah. Forty six, that's it. Well, at least she's not taking that much damage. She'll be fine. Tux can concentrate on these goobers. Zohar, I actually want you to probably use a gem yourself. Yeah. Not that. Item, magic, magic stone, self. I am really concerned about the Warmaster right now. I know the Warmaster can one-shot.
I guess I am gonna end up fairy lighting myself, aren't I? Is that even worth it, or should I just go for broken? What are you doing on magic? You've got enough. That costs five, that costs four. Oh, nobody else is injured over here, are they? That stinks. Let's get the injured people together. Wait, no, I can't do that this turn. Right. I need to have somebody standing here so the War Master doesn't slip through and do bad things. Though, can you actually get far enough? What is your movement? It doesn't say. I think the War Master might only be able to get to there. Or if it gets to there, that's also fine. You know what? Let's risk it. The worst that happens is that I reload. And let's heal both of you all the way up. I will spend the one extra MP for it. Gained 21 XP. Nice. Okay. That's everybody. Only bosses are left that can move. War Master cannot actually get too close. Good. Yep, you're going after Dolan. Kind of what I expected. They both have hit points. I'm not as concerned about them. And Kane's coming back. That's going to be the problem. Dolan can't catch up, is the thing. Honestly, at this point, I probably could just run away. Okay, let's save internal RAM. And let's experiment. I've already tried this once before, but I only tried it once. I don't think I can paralyze the bosses. Because if I can paralyze both of them, I'm set. That's why we save first. No. Okay. Worth a shot. Also, can Diego get to where I need him to go? Yes. Yes, he can. Okay. No, not from the beginning. We saved an internal ram this time. So my idea is to basically just archer the guy to death. But of course, with great archery comes great magic. Can I poison him? I just realized that they actually already have separate spells because uh, Zohar is the AOE poison ability Eel and I doesn't, and they're both the same level. Can you be poisoned? Because it'd be really nice if you could be poisoned. Just saying. Really, really nice if you could be poisoned. I'll just reload if you can. I haven't done that much. Nope. Rat. So if he could be poisoned, then I would have a battle plan. Let's try this again. Once more with feeling. Oh, 
far can you move anyway? Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. You can stand there. Which means that line, that line, and AOR on the island, it's time to beat a hasty retreat. Circle. Get everybody back up the pole. Hmm. There we go. Ash, you can't actually reach the spot that you were in before. What the hell? This game sometimes, I swear. That's actually not necessarily a bad spot for him to be at. Neil and I, you are in fact going back here. Seems like such a waste. Dark Star. Just Dark Star. He can't heal himself. So this is the gambit. I could stand here. Ash does have more hit points and better defense. Do I risk it? So here's the problem. If the Crimson Swordsman stays paralyzed next turn, then Hertz will just walk up to here. This is the only spot that he can go. And then he will dagger storm Ash. Ash will take a crap ton of damage, but it's a much faster way to taking them to the two of them out. The other option I have is to hit is to move here with Zohar. Kurtz won't be able to do anything, and I have yet another phone call. What the heck? One moment. Good job, ISP. You call me with one phone number when there's a surface outage and a different phone number when there isn't. Anyway, um, so if I stand here, Kurtz can't hit me, unless if the paralyzed one gets unparalyzed and kills Zohar. That's the gambit. I think I take the gambit that... and don't take the hit. And I think Darkstar actually does make the most sense. The other thing I could do is stand there and then re-paralyze the Crimson Guard. Like I said, I can always reload. Let's do this efficiently. Because currently, Kurtz is dead on board next turn. Okay, now we have to deal with Kane. How far can you move, Kane? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Damn. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can move up to where Amon is standing. That's not that big of a deal to clear out. So I'm going to. Confirm that you can only move, yep, only to where I'm in the standing. So he's gonna move there next turn. We should plan around that. This will at least expose him to two different directions at once. That will help. and Hux. Hux is going to need to heal. I think a regular healing is fine. Clint, you are going to stand there and do nothing. I, if he does wake up, I don't want to kill him. Because then I'm screwed, for sure. 
He did not wake up. And everybody is moving according to plan. Okay. I think I can take them all out this turn. Sabina's gonna be rough. But I think I've got this now. Well, I can't take out Kane this turn, but that's fine. If it's just Kane, that's easy. Kane doesn't have any ranged attacks. Kane can just heal himself and fine, whatever. Actually, is there a spot that I can move to that I can hit everybody with another phase shift? Why, well, yes, there is. Well, I can't hit Kane. Actually, if I move over one more, I can. Well, far be it for me to deny hitting every single enemy on the board. Phase shift time. Okay, I think I'm fine now. I can take out Kurtz with any of these characters. Uh, Kane, how far can you decide to strike? Okay, you can get to there at the moment and not too much further. I'm gonna end up surrounding Kane. It's just, how do I want to surround Kane is the question. Like, do I want to attack him? You need to not be there anymore. Thank you. Let's get Clint some more XP. Okay. I think Ash can take him out, which means Eel and I can go deal with Kane. Fortunately, the two of them are at such extremes that this spot and this spot are the only spots on the board that can hit both. Actually, no, that spot can't. That's the only spot on the board that can hit bolt. No, no, that one can. But I can't reach there anyway, so points moot. Might as well. Ooh, I might have actually done it. This was rough. This is definitely not the way this is supposed to be. Yeah, I think I've got it now. Who's the lowest level over here? Uh, they're all the same level. Goodbye, Sabina. Oh, I have underestimated you. I've got the ball back. What was that outside? Okay. Um... Oh, I can't get behind him? Ooh, that might be annoying. Hmm. Blocked. Nice. Um, Frog is 18. Actually, did I end up managing to roughly equal everybody out? 18, 17, 18, 19, 19, 18, 18, 17, 18, 19, 16. Yeah, Darius is still low. So, Darius. Congrats on your first boss kill, hopefully. Thank you. You got lucky, punk. But I'll be back. Forty XP, nice. I should get loot for this, seriously. But I'll see you again. I have killed everyone. It is now safe to roam. Which I will do, but I'm going to be primarily using the Hawk Knights to go collect things. Everybody else is just going to go in a normal way. I might as well heal anybody who's injured because why not? Wait, do I only have one character injured right now? Yes. 
Okay. Um, Sarah, because you have slightly lower hit, uh, slightly lower level than um, Hux. Go ahead and heal. There we go. I have maxed out my XP. All right, and everything else is just moving people around. I have as much time as I need now, so I will go collect all the things. Fuck. That's such a goofy attack. Ooh, holy water? It's called soul water, apparently. Holy water is an excellent healing item. It heals 100% of hit points for the entire battlefield. That doesn't include enemies, but still, it's... I guess they wanted to kind of tempt you into getting these items. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay. You can only reach here anyway, so go ahead and kick it. Ah, oh, I can't believe I actually managed to pull this off. No deaths, a lot of reloads, though. Hmm. Not sure if I should... Um... Actually, before I do anything, I am saving again. So I don't have to deal with all that again, just in case if I screw something up. Um... I'm not sure if I should upload the entire thing, because if I upload the entire thing, it's nearly two hours. Although I do have it bookmarked, at least. I guess I am going to end up uploading the entire thing, so sorry about all of what you've seen. Oh. Longest video ever. Actually, I should probably just tell it to fast forward entirely. Well, I can do that. There we go. That way I don't have to hold down anything while I do this, because I need to. We are, in fact, getting Golden Axe. What's it called in this version? It is called Golden Axe! It's called Gold Axe in the PS1 version. And I know it was supposed to be a reference to Golden Axe. And an aura prism or orb gem. I am just so glad they did not put one of those stupid keys on this level. Actually, you're going to be faster going this way. Sadly, it does have to be everyone, which the first time I played this, Ash was the sole survivor that reached the end. No one else survived. I basically, what I did in order to do this the first time was that I surrounded Ash with everyone and just had the clump moving and they would just one shot people as they went by. It's not a great way of doing it. I much prefer the way that I ended up doing it, which oh, I accidentally turned off the fast forward. Whoops. Habits. I hit the wrong button. I don't think the game exactly expects you to win. Uh, I know for a fact it doesn't. For what happens after this. But, um... I expected to be able to do that when it came to... Sort of cheating and... Having everybody being level 37 for this fight instead of level 17. Um, yeah, Diego's going to be the last one to arrive. 
but this is definitely the first time I've done this at a normal person level. And this was very hard. I appreciate the challenge. Even if it was a little garbage that the game was cheating for everybody's stats. Are there any game, uh, any battles in any games, like RPG battles, that is, um, that you find extremely challenging, but a lot of fun to do the challenge? Kind of like this? Amen. Fly forward. You can actually just fly straight. Actually, it looks like Eamon might be the last one to arrive. Ram them all in. The game does not exactly expect you to have this many survivors. Ah, this is gonna be so much editing. Well, not really editing so much as merging the two videos together. That part stinks. I don't like having to do that. Wish there was an easier way to do it, but there isn't. Done. That was a lot of money I got from the bosses, by the way. Also, look at how many enemies there are on this battlefield. No deaths. Good job, me. Just took some thinking. It's a puzzle battle. I like puzzle battles. But... You called Master Dolph? A traitor was involved in the prison attack? Yeah, so what about it? Just before the attack, there was a riot inside. Attacked from the inside and outside, the prison couldn't stand. One more thing. The rioters got weapons and the keys from someone. You know anything about that? No, not a thing. <laughs> you mustn't tell lies, little girl. Little Calamani, the black sorcerer. I watched you on my crystal ball as you let the man called Clint escape. <gasps> you had me fucked. I'm sorry, Kira. I thought I can trust you. You betrayed me. Dots. Take her away. A wise decision. You haven't forgotten your promise, I hope. I'm manipulating hell in order to rekindle the flames of judgment, and you are sworn to aid me in that pursuit. Now we get a taste to see what Dolph is actually about. I have not forgotten for a moment. Good. I'll hold you to it. It has come time to dispose of this annoying pest, Ashley. I want you to personally see that it is taken care of. As you wish. Thump. Hell 
teleporting sorcerers. Right, so let's go ahead and save. Finally, save. I haven't made a backup of this yet. One moment, I need to save in a different location before I make the backup because of the way this game works. Or the way the emulator works. So I need to save on Cartridge RAM temporarily. And I will exit, copy the saves, reload, yeah, yeah, all that stuff. Okay, bye. Hope you've enjoyed this internet, by the way. Um, you even got a chance to see us in Kitty. And I think Boo Kitty was out at the previous video. Yeah. Anyway, bye.